With Olama and Crew AI, you can make literally anything. I'll teach you how to build and run your AI agents locally so you never have to pay for an API while keeping all of your chats private and you can even use unrestricted models. So if you want to be ahead of 99% of people, watch until the end. The first thing we need is Olama. This will let us run open source models on our computer. So go to olama.com and click on download. Then select whatever operating system you have. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna do that. Once you download Olama, right click and unzip it. Then you'll get the application, so run that, and you should see this icon run here, which means that Olama is running. Now let's install Crew AI. To do that, there are actually two different ways. First one is going into VS Code, and let's create a new file. We can name it agents.py, and when you're in VS Code, you can open a new terminal, and you can run it from here. If you don't have Conda, just follow what I'm doing and type it in here. So you do pip, install crew AI. But if you do have Conda, create a new Python environment, Conda create dash N, and I'm gonna name it local agents. And I'm gonna use Python 3.11, enter. And this is gonna take like five seconds. Now, if I do Conda activate local agents, as you can see right here, the new environment is active. Again, if you don't have Conda, it doesn't matter. You can just do pip install crew AI in here, right inside of VS Code, but I'm gonna do it inside of my new Python environment. So pip install crew AI, enter as simple as that. And this should take like 20 seconds or something. By the way, when you're in VS Code, the way you see what environment you have active is right here, bottom right. Click on the version, the Python version, and you see your environments. Now, I don't see mine because I just created it, so I'm gonna restart VS Code. And now I should see the local agents environment. Click on this and beautiful. And this is my new empty environment. Well, actually it's not empty because I just installed Crew AI inside. So now that we have Crew AI, we can actually start doing some basic coding. Again, if you're not a programmer, just follow along what I'm doing. You don't have to understand every single step. From Crew AI, we actually need to import four different things. And this will make sense in a bit. So agent, task, crew, and process. Next, we of course need to somehow import Olaba. And the simplest way to do this is to use Langchain. So I'm gonna do from Langchain, import Olama. And actually this will not work because you have to do langchain.llms. It will still work, but they recommend doing langchain. I mean langchain underscore community. So this is the proper way to do this. And if you want to check whether you have langchain community installed, you can just do that easily with pip install, right? So do pip install dash capital U langchain. And this is a dash not underscore community. Now we need to choose which language model we actually want to use, right? because Olama offers dozens of different open source models. So as you can see, there's Llama 2, Gemma from Google, Mistral, Code Llama, Dolphin, which is uncensored. And I'm actually gonna use Mistral, which is the mixture of experts model. For cheap, low tier hardware, seven billion models will be the maximum you can run. For like medium tier hardware, I'm talking like computers around like two to $3,000 range, you can do 13 billion. If you have a high tier computer, I'm talking $5,000 or more, you could do 47 billion or 70 billion even. Another thing you should consider is if you have very slow internet, 26 gigabytes for mixture might take a while. But if you do, I don't know, Lamas to 7B, that's just 3.8 gigabytes. So keep that in mind as well. How I need to activate it is to go into the terminal and now we can do Olama run mixture. And if you don't have this, it will download. But the good thing is that you only do this once. I run it and since I already have it downloaded, you can see I can type a message. List out the 10 most influential people in history. Two religious figures, then scientists, another religious figure. Yeah, I mean, this is just um, cringe, but whatever. For this, maybe <laughs> the dolphin would be better. Anyways, we don't want to run the model in here manually. We want our agents to use the model. So let's go back into VS Code and let's link it up. So I'm going to create a new variable and call it mixtral, and I'm going to use Olama to get the model. So, so this is very simple. You just do model equals mixtral. Just easy as that. By the way, a good thing to do if you're not sure what kind of a model you can handle is when you run it in Olama right here, you can open up Activity Monitor, which is on Mac OS or Task Manager, go to the memory, obviously, and you can see the memory pressure. So when I run Mixtral, maybe let's say teach me something about Python and I run it, you can see the memory increases, right? So memory used 56 out of 128 gigabytes. So I still have like 70 gigabytes left. There will be an AI model that works for you because there are even models that are like 1 billion parameters. So you can run that on your toaster probably. Now, of course, you can go back to Olama right here and download a different model. I mean, there is, you know, there is no limit. You can download all of them, obviously. Now we can start building the agents with Crew AI. But the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to create a variable named topic. And this will let me 
assigned a different topic every time. So what I want to build is a team of agents that are expert prompt engineers. And that is obviously useful because every time you need to build agents, you need to write the system prompt and that can take a while. So what I want to do is automate that part. So we can do something like, I don't know, web development, but this could honestly be anything. Customer support, essay writing, programming, financial analysis, literally anything. So it's up to you. You can change this to whatever you want, right? I'm going to start with a research agent. So I'm just going to type research agent equals agent. And in here we need some parameters, right? So the first one is a role. Role equals, you can just do researcher. Next, we have to give our agent a goal. So let's do goal equals, and I'm going to actually do an F string. That way we can insert the topic variable into the string itself. From your memory, gather relevant information about how an expert at topic, obviously this is still very, uh, very surface level. Honestly, the proper way to do this would be to give it access to like Google Serper, that way it can actually browse the web. It doesn't have to use the memory of the model, but I think for the demonstration, this is more than good enough. So the next step is to give it a backstory. And here you describe basically the classic system prompt. Actually, I'm gonna do an F string as well, that way we can again mention the topic. And this is just good prompting practice. If there's something important, mention it multiple times. You are an AI assistant that extracts relevant information. By the way, I already wrote this, so <laughs> that's why I'm looking at my second monitor. There is actually more that we have to do. As you can see, GitHub Copilot has it correct. We need to give it a model. But first, let's actually do verbose. And here we can set it either true or false, which sets how verbose or how much the model is yapping, basically. So if you want concise answers, do false. I'm going to do true. Next is allow delegation. Honestly, this should be almost always false. In this case, I'm building a research agent specifically for research, so I don't want him delegating the research to somebody else, right? And lastly, obviously, we need to set the model to mixture. I'm gonna do this one more time, and this time, we're gonna do the prompt agent. Prompt underscore agent equals agent, and we need to do the same thing. As you can see, GitHub Copilot kind of makes this easy. <laughs> That's why, you know, using AI tools is OP. If you're like, oh my God, David, what happened? It just wrote it for you. Well, exactly. Welcome to the age of AI. What happened is that GitHub Copilot, which is, you know, the AI tool from GitHub, looked at my code and kind of did the same. Now, obviously, I still need to go here and adjust it, but this is like saves me multiple minutes, right? So role prompter, I'm going to do prompt engineer. Okay, so in here, I'm going to do write a single structured prompt in Markdown explaining how a world class boom topic expert would approach a project. Amazing. For the backstory, let's update this as well. You are an AI assistant. Verbose is true again, allow delegation false and model is mixture. So now we just created two agents just like that. I mean, this is the magic of crew AI. It's really makes something that before was super complex and super intimidating into very simple Python. I mean, if you can type, you can do this. Like <laughs> that's the only skill you need really. So let me actually organize this a bit. So this part is for define agents. Now we're going to define the tasks. So the first task is going to be gather info equals task. And just like with agent, we need to set some parameters here. So luckily with tasks, it's even simpler. So for tasks, you need three things. You need a description, which is a simple explanation of what the task actually is. So actually I'm going to do F string again. And the reason is that I want to reference the topic everywhere. So from your knowledge base, okay, I'm actually going to collect here just a preference about topic experts, because we wanted to write the prompt as if it was writing a description of how an expert would behave. So the next part would be assigning an agent. So the beauty of Crea is that you can clearly assign which agent does what task. So there is no chaos and this can have like much more predictable results, which is important if you have a business, you want predictable results and consistent results, which can be a challenge with Autogen. Now to assign an agent, you just do agent equals and research agents literally super simple. And now this is a new one that uh, is mandatory is expected output. And I think the reason uh, Zhao, the founder added this is just to add again, a bit more consistency. If you tell it what the expected output should lo look like, you know, it's just giving an example. It's not a zero shot. It's um, actually providing a solid example. A description of how it should look like should be good to start with. A clear list of key points related to topic experts and how they work. Okay, solid. Now we need to create a second task and this one will be for 
the prompt engineer and it should be right prompt beautiful github copilot and here we need to do the same and again github copilot saves me a couple minutes so write a single structured prompt in markdown explaining how a world class by the way this is a good habit whenever you use github copilot for anything just double check what it wrote don't rely on it completely so now we have two agents we have two tasks by the way this video is actually part of my workshop on how to build and deploy ai agents which is available inside of my community so if you want all the code all the prompts and all the commands from this video as well as access to hundreds of other agent builders then make sure to join it's the first link in the description now let's build a crew this is even simpler than the task so to do that we just do crew and crew and the first thing we do is assign the agents so let's do agents equals and then a list of the two agents next we do the tasks tasks gather info write prompt and we do verbose actually this is uh, different slightly different from the agents where you do either true or false here we can do one or two and i'm going to do two and by the way for here just a small thing it's tasks and agents not agent and tasks small mistake personally i made when i first built this i put here task and then it allowed me to run everything no problem but it didn't work right so i had to troubleshoot it and find out that a simple s was missing so make sure it's agents and tasks we do process dot sequential Okay, two more lines and we're good to go. Output equals crew and not execute kickoff. And then last one, we just need to print it out. Print output and beautiful. And yeah, let's run it. So I'm going to click on run and let's see the results. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is a, again, similar mistake. Here is not model, it's actually LLM. So fix that, LLM. And now we should actually work. Okay, let me save that and run it again. Yes, now it's working. So yeah, okay. The computer is working. We're using 56 gigabytes of memory and we're running. And inside of VS Code, I'm going to pull this up and we can see our agents are fully working. So let's scroll back up uh, here. Working agent researcher. Beautiful. And then this is mixture of speaking. So I understand the task at hand. Let's scroll down. Next up, working agent prompt engineer. And then the task it will perform. Sure, I understand the importance of this task for me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, let's see. By the way, yeah, pink or purple is what's about to happen. The green is the agents generating the text and white is the final output. So here is the final output. And this is, you know, a system prompt that was written in what, like 15 seconds or something? Okay, so it did the task pretty well for web development, but let's change that and let's change the topic. This is why we did the variable. So let's do, let's do customer support. And let's see if our agents can write a solid system prompt for a new customer support agent. Okay, so let's see. And by the way, uh, this, if you use smaller models, it will also be faster, right? So I'm using 47 billion para parameter model, which is again, the mixture. This is by the way, the architecture, but <laughs> you don't have to understand that obviously to run it. You can just go into Olama and click on models and you can see that it's 47 billion parameters in total on the open source models. This is on the larger side. If you run like, llama 7b or mistral 7b or even Gemma, which is from google which is uh, i think the best base model that's not fine-tuned or anything so yeah this this one is 9 billion billion parameter so it will be much faster than a 47 billion parameter model but it will not be as intelligent obviously so let's go back and we have white text meaning it's completed so let's look at this right guidelines for a world-class customer support expert clearly articulate concept solution policies Minimal confusion. Okay, this is actually good. I mean, <laughs> this is probably better instructions than most companies have for their customer support people, right? So as you can see, our team of agents is really solid. Obviously, it's nowhere near as good as it could be, but I would argue that these prompts are already better than most people could write. Now, this is only the beginning. In the next video, I'll massively optimize this team of agents so that it actually writes amazing system prompts that me and you can use when building our agents. And that video will be available inside of my community exclusively. So if you don't want to miss out on the agent revolution, consider joining. First link in the description.